question is, can you ready for El Nino? Well, the government, through the Ministry of Arid and Semi-Arid Lands, says that it will require 9 billion shillings to mitigate the effects of the expected El Nino rains, with the county saying they will require 15 billion shillings for possible emergencies. In a meeting convened by Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa, an estimated 2.3 million Kenyans, uh, this actually emerged from that meeting that an estimated 2.3 million Kenyans will be affected by the oncoming El Nino rains out of the Asal counties, rather, that is the um, arid and semi-arid counties, where 23 out of the 27 counties will be severely affected. Moige William has more details from this meeting. With just hours before October, the projected start of El Nino rains in Kenya, the government still seems far from having a watertight plan on how to mitigate effects of the phenomenon which caused over 2,000 deaths and hundreds of thousands of displacements 26 years ago. In a meeting that brought together players in the El Nino response chain, Deputy President Rigadi Gashago fell short of explaining what particular measures the government has deployed to reduce negative impacts, especially among the most vulnerable. We do not wish to lose lives and livelihoods. We do not wish to see the 1997 El Nino situation, which more than 1.5 million people were displaced and negatively affected. And with over half of the country on high risk, it is emerging that some 24 billion shillings will be needed to combat effects of El Nino in both the national and county governments. Counties in the arid and semi-arid lands will be greatly affected, being 23 out of the 27 counties, where in the meeting it was also noted that over 2.3 million people and 5.6 livestock will be affected by the heavy rains. Preparedness activities have begun but should also continue seamlessly throughout the rainfall season. The floods that are expected to come with El Nino will also see learning activities interrupted in 1,215 schools with 314 health facilities also facing closure. Several parts of the country are already receiving rains beyond usual quantities. This will intensify and extend up to early 2024. Further, the climatic phenomenon is expected to affect a total of 100,119, 195 hectares of land and 1,234 water facilities across the country. The government estimates the cost of El Nino response to be around 9.322 billion shillings. The Council of Governors Chairperson Anwe Guru, however, says counties only have reserves of one billion earmarked to mitigate anticipated impacts, expecting the rains to cause devastating effects to the society. We're expecting it to cause uh, devastating effects uh, to many of our communities. Uh, in response planning, Your Excellency, uh, the county governments have been coordinating a response mechanism. As of Thursday, September 28th, only 23 counties had submitted their plans to mitigate El Nino effects. Two levels of government are not in competition. They complement each other for the common good of the people of Kenya. So let our national administration officers work very closely with our county governors. The meeting convened by Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa, though painting a bleak situation courtesy of El Nino, but stakeholders in attendance exuding confidence with proper planning, the country can mitigate the situation. Now the challenge that lays ahead is mobilizing resources. Mwege William, TV 47, at Karen, Nairobi.